One way of getting part geometry into SigmaNest is to import a DXF file. For DXF files that consist of many different layers, we can easily isolate and select the geometry required by using SigmaNest's layer mapping function. Once selected, part production data may be assigned, such as quantity to nest, due date, and other attributes. Multiple DXF files may be imported simultaneously. Simply select the DXF files you wish to import. Confirm all data associated with each part, and then the parts are ready to be nested. This has been an overview of how to import DXF files into SigmaNest. Once parts have been loaded into the SigmaNest workspace, they can be nested by defining a nesting task. You can select which parts you want to include in the task. In this case, we select all. We can then define nesting parameters, such as sheet size, type of nesting algorithm, and machine. We are now ready to run the nest. Once the nesting has been completed, you still have full control and can manually move parts around. We have now successfully completed a nest. The final step in the process is to now create the NC toolpath for this nest. We can do this part by part. Let's say these are urgent parts and need to be cut first, and for the rest we can do it automatically. Let's simulate the program. First, we get the urgent parts, and then SigmaNest is on its own. You can also select to see the machine G-code as we go through the simulation. As we can see, this program is ready to cut on the machine. SigmaNest comes with a series of standard reports and printouts, including nest layout detail and part labels. The nest detail provides complete information about the nesting, including production time, scrap rates, and parts nested. Part labels may be used for part identification and can include barcodes. Reports and printouts in SigmaNest are completely user customizable. You can set up the exact reports you want.